Apple today released iOS 15.2, the second major update to the iOS operating system. And so in this video, we're gonna go over everything that's new in iOS 15.2. App Privacy Report is one of the iOS 15 editions that Apple showed off at WWDC. It's a privacy feature that's designed to allow users to see how often apps have accessed their permission-restricted info, like location, photos, camera, microphone, and contacts across the last seven days. So with App Privacy Report, users can also see which apps have contacted other domains and how recently they've contacted them to keep an eye on what apps are doing behind the scenes. And you can find your app privacy report by heading into settings app, selecting the privacy section, and then choosing app privacy report. Emergency SOS, the feature that lets you call emergency services with a series of button presses has been updated in iOS 15.2. You can now press the side button rapidly multiple times to initiate or hold down the side button and the volume button together if preferred. Before the update, rapid press was available, but no option to hold down the buttons together iOS 15.2 adds support for the Apple Music voice plan that was first introduced in October. Now it's priced at $4.99 per month. The voice plan provides access to all songs, playlists, and stations in Apple Music using Siri. There is a limited on-device interface available as the experience is meant to be Siri-oriented, but users can ask Siri for music suggestions that are provided based on listening history or likes and dislikes, and a Play It Again feature lets users access a list of recently played music. Legacy contacts are now available in 15.2 as well, giving users the option to set a trusted person to be able to access your Apple ID and data after you pass away. The person you choose as your contact can access photos, messages, notes, files, and more. iCloud keychain passwords will remain inaccessible along with licensed media. You can access legacy contact by heading into settings, password and security and choose legacy contact. You can then choose an iPhone or Android user that you will want to share your special access key with. And you can do that either through messages or by printing it out. TV app has a new design for the iPad, which now features a sidebar that should make navigation through various sections much easier. In the TV app for iPhone users, you will see a new dedicated store tab, which can be used for accessing movies and TV shows that can be purchased. You can now use hide my email directly from the mail app after installing iOS 15.2. So when you're composing an email, just tap on the from field and then select hide my email in order to generate a random email address. This feature is available to anyone who has an iCloud Plus plan. Also in this update, Apple is enabling communication safety in messages for children. The feature is designed to scan incoming messages that contain images on children's devices for nudity and warn them that such photos might be harmful. Communication safety is opt-in, privacy focused, and must be enabled by parents. It is limited to the accounts of children with detection done all on device, and it is not the same as the anti-CSAM functionality that Apple still has in development. You can now manually toggle macro mode in the camera app by tapping the flower icon that appears when the camera is close to an object. To enable this, just head into settings, then camera, and then turn on macro control. Apple also tweaked notification summary in iOS 15.2, and it has a new look with a card style view that shows main apps in the summary and overlapping cards, and it makes it easier to see at a glance what's included in this summary. And last but not least, you can finally search for specific songs inside of a playlist in the Apple Music app. And these are just some of those new major features that the iOS 15.2 update brings you. But if you wanna see a full list of changes and what's coming in this update, be sure to click the link to our guide in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.